in today's video, I'm going to be giving you three exercises that you can do to get more confidence for both you and your horse. A big part of confidence, both for you and for your horse, is about control. So when you can control your horse, control your horse's energy, that's gonna give you a lot of confidence. And it's also gonna give your horse a lot of confidence when they know that you are in charge. So be sure to check out the description box. I am doing a free webinar on January 8th on groundwork. So be sure to sign up for that. Also in the description box, there is a free mini course on confidence that I hope you all sign up for. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you three exercises that you can do. The first one is how to properly lead your horse to get confidence. The second one is bending your horse to give you confidence. And the third one is getting your horse to drop their head down. These might seem like simple exercises, but they go a long way to getting control of your horse, getting respect of your horse, and helping your horse to relax. Let me know in the comments if this video is helpful. Be sure to give my channel a thumbs up and subscribe and share my videos with your riding friends because it really helps me out and let's start feeling more confident. Okay, hello everyone. So since we're talking about giving you guys confidence and courage and tools to help you, I think that it always starts from the ground and kind of establishing your control and your confidence with your horse from the ground. So I'm gonna show you a few tools, a few tips that I do with my horses, just to kind of, you know, you don't wanna be like domineering or mean to your horse, but they do need to respect you. They need to know that you're in charge. And in the end, when your horse knows that you're in charge of things, it's going to give them more confidence. Horses need boundaries just like children. And at the end of the day, if you have clear boundaries and they know that you're in charge, then they're gonna be much happier and more respectful and just better to be around. It's gonna be better for them. So this is Claire. Um, she is a horse who has a very strong personality and a lot of energy. So I got her in training. She'd been with several different trainers. And um, really, I started developing my relationship with her from the ground because she would literally just run over the top of me. And, you know, when you feel this way mentally, like when you can't get control of your horse on the ground, that carries over to the sa to under saddle and it can be like very discouraging and scary so you're being a good girl claire one of the first things that i work on with my horses is just when i lead them so when i lead my horses wake up here it's really important um you know i i kind of like my horses to lead here where they're you know their head i'm walking between their head and their shoulder come on you can walk a little more forward. Good girl. I don't want them dragging, so I want her leading up here with me. Come on. Good girl. And then what's really important is that when I stop, they stop. Good girl. When I back up, she backs up. Good girl. When I walk, she walks. Come on. Good girl. When I stop, she stops. Good. And you notice how in tune with me she is. Like when I stopped, I didn't even put, there was no tension on the rein. So stop. She's really just reading my body language and tuned into me. So this is really important. Like this is something even you can just practice when you lead your horse from the barn to get them tacked up or whatever is just establishing this control because it's the same thing under saddle. You need your horse to walk when you want, stop when you want, back up when you want, go forward when you want. And it's, it's a little thing, but to the horses, it's really important. Like I wouldn't believe how many people's horses drag them all over the place, walk all over the top of them, um, don't stop when they stop. They can't get their horse to back up. So that's another, um, the, the getting your horse to back up. There's a few ways that you can do it, but one of the best ways is, I recommend starting with a halter. 
Um, I'll link some other videos in here and a lead rope. But basically, you want your horse to respect your energy. So if I'm standing here and if I kind of get big and shake the reins at her, I want her to back away from my energy. And this is, you know, it's like establishing my dominance over her because she's a very dominant mare. I need to know that if I say, hey, get out of my space, that she says, okay, I'm out of your space. Because that's basically in her dynamics, I'm telling her like, I'm the boss. When I say back up, you back up. When I say come forward, you come forward. So this is really important to establish with your horse on the ground so that when you get in the saddle, they already have more respect for you. So that's the first thing is just getting your horse to lead. The second thing that I always work on is teaching my horse to bend and yield their hindquarters. So what you're gonna do is you're just first gonna get your horse walking on a circle around you. And you want, when your horse is walking this circle around you, you want them to have a little bit of bend to the inside, a little bit of curve in their body. And then you're gonna shorten up on that inside rein. You're gonna bend your horse's neck around. I'm kind of resting my hand on the saddle and I want her to bend and drop her neck and stop. Notice how she stopped and her head is still bent around. So this is basically practicing the one rein stop and there she has a fly but I want her to to stay respectful here I wait for her to give to the bit and then I slowly release good girl so so teaching your horse to bend and get away from you is a really useful tool from the ground because again it's like when I step towards her and I kind of am directing my energy there there I'm getting after her a little bit there but I really need her to be moving away from me and getting out of my space good girl and doing this on both sides this is again it's asserting my control and my dominance and making sure that when I get on her back I have some tools because if I can get her to bend and yield like this it gives me confidence for when I get in the saddle that I can control her, I can get her to move over. I have some tools to use to get this control over her. Good girl, good girl. And it's really important too when I release that she takes her head back respectfully. I don't want her to just rip the reins away from me. Another thing if you're having trouble putting this all together is you, you can just practice standing back here by the saddle and just teaching your horse to just bend their neck around like this. Wait for them to give completely. Like here she's pulling just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna wait for her to give completely to the bit and then I'm gonna slowly release and let her go back to straight. And I know a lot of you guys are thinking like, oh my gosh, how did she do that? That looks so easy. I'll tell you, this horse was not like this at all when I started. Like it's taken a lot of work to get just this where I can just get her to bend, release to that pressure, and then slowly take her head back. So once you've gotten that on both sides, then you can go back to getting your horse to where they're going forward. You bend them around. Notice that I stay stepping towards her. So what a lot of people do is when they do this, they like end up backing away from their horse like this. And they're pretty much like pulling their horse on top of them. So they're like backing away and pulling their horse on top of them like this. So this is like completely wrong because you see like she's walking on top of me. I need to be walking towards her and moving her out of my space. That's really the point of this. So again, it's asserting my dominance with her that when I step towards her, she backs up good girl and like i said when i first started working with this horse when i would step towards her she would just come right back on top of me so she had really no respect for me she she thought she was the dominant horse in the herd back up good girl walk forward good girl move away from me good girl stop Good. 
Okay, so getting your horse to where you can lead them correctly, bend them correctly on the ground. And then the other thing that I work on is teaching them to drop their head. So just putting pressure on her pole, a little pressure on the bit and getting her to where she'll put her head all the way down. Again, this is submission. So um, when horses are in the wild and they're afraid and they're dominant, their heads are straight up in the air so they can look around at the predators. Uh, when they put their heads down like this, like when they're eating, it's a sign of relaxation. It's a sign of submission. It's a sign that they have kind of given up their self-preservation. So, you know, horses are designed, they're prey animals. And so first and foremost, they are always trying to keep themselves safe. And when we ride them, when we train them, we need them to look to us for that security. So that means that in order to get her to put her head down, in order to get her to bend, she has to give up her self-preservation. So she has to basically say, okay, I trust you that I don't need to be looking around for the lions or the mountain lions. I can just be here hanging out with you. Um, and I always establish this from the ground first. I've started a lot of young horses and ridden a lot of problem horses and you know, let's face it, they are scary to ride. And it, it kind of takes away your confidence to ride a horse like that. But what I found is establishing some tools with them on the ground first, where you really get that respect and control of your horse's mind and body from the ground. Then when you get on them, it's not as big of a deal. If you don't do any groundwork and you just get on them and you don't have any tools, then of course you're gonna feel afraid and insecure um, and it's not gonna be good for your mindset. So I think that as far as your mindset, getting control of your horse physically and mentally starting from the ground is gonna do a lot to help you understand. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Be sure to check out the description box and sign up for my free mini course on confidence. And let me know in the comments if you struggle with confidence and if you feel like these exercises might help you and your horse to feel more confident. Confidence is something that we all struggle with. And for me personally, doing groundwork exercises and getting control and submission from the ground before I get on gives me a lot more confidence that when I get on, I'm going to be in control and I'm gonna be able to stay safe. So I hope this was helpful and thank you all so much for watching my videos, sharing them with your friends and check out, I have a lot of links in the description. So that's it for today. I'll see you next Wednesday.